Hi, I'm Justine Louise. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be doing an unboxing, review, and swatch on a new matte um, Pat McGrath lipstick. Now Pat McGrath um, has some amazing products, but this is actually the first one I've actually bought. I saw those gorgeous Mothership palettes and I was extremely tempted but I think some of those palettes are a little wasted on somebody like me. I'm not uh, skilled at makeup in any sense. And I think that they're just gorgeous colors and I don't think I would really know what to do with them. Um, as tempting as they were. But you never know. Never say never. I might end up getting one one day. But for now... Um, I'll just admire from afar. But I was extremely interested in their matte lipsticks. Well, I'm interested in all their lipsticks, but I find the colors are all a little bit too dark. But she just recently came out with some lighter colors, and one in particular that caught my eye was Peep Show. And it claims to be a soft, peachy nude. And I couldn't find swatches of it anywhere or any reviews because it's so new. I think it only launched on her website on the 18th, and I think so far on the 19th. So mine came today, so I am going to um, try it on for you with some swatches, and then I'll do a little bit of a wear test and see how long it lasts, and I will report back. So first things first, um, this is the packaging. One other thing that I noticed is I couldn't find the ingredients anywhere. I have a database that I refer to all the time, and of course, these lipsticks are too new, so there was no information. Pat McGrath's website didn't have any information, and the Sephora website didn't have any information. So. I bought it anyways, um, not knowing what the ingredients were. So what I'm going to do is take a magnifying screenshot and I'll put that in my video for those people who might be interested. If you have lip allergies like me, it's really important to know what the ingredients are. Um, luckily, the top three that I'm allergic to, aloe, lanolin, and phenooxyethanol, are not in this lipstick, so I'm super happy about that. But I am allergic to a fourth thing, and it's still a mystery to me. So we're just going to wing it and see if um, I have a reaction, and let's cross fingers that I don't. So one thing I was a little disappointed, I thought this was going to come in that pouch with all the glitter. <laughs> What I'm going to do with it, I have no idea, but I wanted it. So anyway, it just comes, came exactly like this with the um, wraparound cord that I noticed her mothership um, big palettes came like, and it kind of unrolls. I did open this part because I wanted to see the ingredients, um, but I haven't looked at the lipstick or the color yet. So it's the, oh, it's nice and heavy, uh, black um, metal with the gold um, lips, same as all her other lipsticks, as far as I know, I think this is what they all look like. And again, this one is Peep Show, and it is one of the matte formulas. Nice and sturdy and heavy. And yeah, it's a nice um, pale, it's actually more of a pink. I wouldn't say this is peachy. And even in the tube, it's really, really matte. Um, almost like it's, you know when lipsticks kind of get a cast on it that they're old? Um, yeah, it seems kind of weird to me. But anyway, I'll swatch it here on my hand. It feels very creamy. And I will do a proper photo swatch because sometimes with the lights you can't see too, too well. Um, so when I've swatched it, it didn't take off that white cast, so it's obviously not a white film. You know what I'm talking about when lipsticks get kind of old and they get that cast all around them. Um, but I've had other matte lipsticks and they, they're not this um, dull. So anyway, it's obviously very, very matte. So that's it on my hand. And now I'm going to take my lipstick off and I'm actually going to apply it and show you guys what it looks like on my lips. So I have removed my previous lipstick and my lips were so stained. It was one of those new ColourPop peachy matte lipsticks and they stain my lips like crazy. Even though they're a peach color, my lips end up being this bright, bright pink. Um, so what I've done is I've just put some MAC, MAC Lip Erase. I use this under every lipstick. I just find it gives me a blank canvas for when I'm putting on the lipstick. So just bear that in mind if you're wondering why my lips are so light. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on. And again, this one is Peep Show. This is the only color that I bought. 
goes on so smooth. Tad patchy. to keep going over and over. Very creamy. It's definitely a pink. I wouldn't say this is a peach. Feels really nice on the lips. My lips don't feel super tight. I bought one of the um, Riant Fenty by Rihanna matte lipsticks, those new ones, and my lips just sh instantly shriveled up <laughs> like a raisin. So this does feel nice and soft and comfortable. Um, I do really like the color. So I am going to wear this for a little while and I'll have something to drink. Actually, I'll have a drink right now and see if it transfers immediately. Tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to wear this for a couple hours and I'm going to check back later with you guys and see what I think. So I thought maybe to be fair, I actually removed um, the lipstick and I removed the MAC Erase because it ha does have a bit of a balm emollient base and I thought maybe that might be the reason why there was a lot of patchiness to that um, lipstick. So I'm going to reapply this time with Totally Bare Lips. Um, I've just dried them off, that's it. But you can see they're heavily, heavily stained from that ColourPop um, liquid lip. But I'm just going to go in and just do it on my bare lips so that I can give a fair um, impression on the lipstick. So let's start this again. And do it on magnify so I can see. I still see a little bit of patchiness. And when I swipe it kind of pulls it off. So far, I mean it's a lovely lipstick and going on nicely but I don't really think it's worth the money. There's another YouTuber that I'll lick her name down below. Um, Michelle, it says Wang, but I think she pronounces it Wong. And um, she has the full collection of Pat McGrath. If, so if you're ever interested in any Pat McGrath makeup, she's likely to have it and have a review. made my lips look heavily, heavily lined. Um, could also be because I'm old, <laughs> but uh, lipsticks don't normally settle into lines like this and make them look a little bit puckered. Um, but again, I did have completely dry lips with no prep or primer on them whatsoever because I just think I should give this a fair um, review based on just bare lips um, that I'm not using anything else to hinder the product or make it better. So anyway, I'm gonna check back in a little bit and let you know my wear. So I am just doing a quick check-in. This is two hours after I applied the lipstick and the color is still very saturated so you can see the color just as vividly as when I first put it on. I haven't eaten anything yet, but I have had drinks and it hasn't come off. So. That part I'm really impressed with, but my lips feel very tight. Um, not as tight as some matte lipsticks I've used. Like I mentioned, I used the Fenty Rihanna. My lips are like, <laughs> like that. So my lips still look full, but if you look at them close, they're very, very lined. I actually just took a photo. It's so hard to get the right lighting, but I did one in the sun so you could really see what I'm talking about close up, that my lips look incredibly lined. Like I have lines on my lips I didn't even know I had. <laughs> and my lips feel very parched. Um, I do like to wear a lot of lip balms and things. So matte lipsticks, as much as I love the look, I do find them a little bit tight and drying. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm really going overboard with um, my review on this, but this is a very expensive lipstick, so it needs to do tricks, answer my telephone, drive me places, and babysit <laughs> for this price. So that's why I'm giving you such a thorough, thorough um, review on my impressions on it, and I'm going to do another check-in in a little while. But 
if you really want um, lots of color that's going to last and you don't mind it being a little bit tight and dry, then it's past a two hour test of still looking exactly the same as far as color and pigmentation on my lips. But I am feeling the tightness and I'm dying to put on a lip balm. But I will carry on and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So now I am touching base with you guys and this is my final check-in. We are now at hour four of wearing the lipstick. And as you can see, I'm very wilted. <laughs> All my makeup, my face, my hair, everything is... Mm. Um, so I just wanted to touch base of what the lipstick is like now. I have drank all day water <laughs> and I've had lunch and this is what's left. So I don't didn't expect miracles that I'd be able to eat and everything. It wasn't an oil-based product, but I, I really don't expect a lipstick to do that. But I just thought I would pass along the information. Um, and also, just to let you know, I'm at hour four and I've got kind of that weird line that you get with uh, liquid lipsticks where it kind of separates. It's pretty much come off. I have very little pigment left on my lips and again, four hours. So as a final thoughts on the lipstick, I really don't think it's worth the money. Um, this is a really hefty price tag for a matte lipstick. The color is nice, um, but I, ha I have seen colors like this. It's just a nude pink. I've seen this a thousand times. I think MAC has something like this and Kat Von D and all that. So as far as color, it's nothing outrageous or exciting. Um, the packaging is really lovely, but not worth the hefty price tag. And as far as the longevity, it didn't really last incredibly long. I started getting lines on my lips that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> so it's never really a good thing. I like my lips to look full and plump, and I think that they just look like sad little raisins at this stage. <laughs> Um, so unfortunately it was a bit of a fail for me. Perhaps the darker colors are what everyone seems to be talking about. Um, perhaps they just have a little bit more of a long wearing um, finish to them and they're a little bit more of unusual colors that you can't get from any other cosmetic line so that's also a draw. But for me this color I can get elsewhere. The longevity isn't that great. My lips feel tight and dry and it's just not worth the hefty price tag for me. So I feel really bad saying that because I was so excited to try one of her products. And as I mentioned at the beginning, all her shadows are a little bit too fancy for me. So unfortunately, I think this is the end of my journey with Pat McGrath unless she brings out anything else. Um, so anyway, that concludes the video on this lipstick. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. And if you like the video, please click like. And if you'd like to see more beauty related topics, please hit subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so you keep up to date. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.